What's up everybody, this is Rob Shack. So today we're gonna to be doing the next video in my Midnight Club Street Racing walkthrough, playthrough, gameplay, whatever you wanna call it. I'm gonna be using the Modicum XSV, which is like kind of the mini, I guess. I guess it's a mini. But be sure to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Help me get to a thousand subs, that'd be awesome. Y'all are great, thank you all for the support. If you do the channel, I do Midnight Club, Dynasty Warriors, Samurai Warriors, Gran Turismo, Halo, Overwatch, a little bit Call of Duty, classic stuff, sure. I play old and new games, and I hope y'all are interested in watching this stuff. Um, a lot of nostalgia up in here. I talk on some of the videos, and then sometimes I don't. It just depends on what it is. And yeah, it's a brief little summary of what I do here. So I will be going for this race, or this video I'm gonna be trying to get the second version of I think I'm gonna try to go for Kareem's second version the uh, I guess it's the PT or the Phoenix I can't remember if it's I know that the original one is called the Phoenix PT standard I don't remember what's actually the brand I don't remember um, so I'm gonna try to find him drive over there race him beat him and then get his uh, second version of his car which is the one, I think his second car actually has NOS, but his third one doesn't. So I want to get his second car and just kind of see what it's like. But yeah, it'll be fun. Um, the hardest part of this game, obviously, is just finding the right car you want to race and then catching up to them when they drive erratically like psychopaths all around the city, slamming into crap and moving really fast and driving insanely. And then eventually you can get there. Fortunately, they drive the same routes. But yeah, it's pretty insanely hard. This is easily the hardest part of the game, is just getting to who you want to race and then chasing them to wherever the starting location is. It's a creative idea, but the fact that the cars are so good, make when, only when they're in this mode, though. They're like not nearly as good when they're just driving normally. But in this mode, they're hilariously powerful and hard to catch up to. So it's pretty great, pretty funny. So I'm gonna try to keep catch up to this guy. I think this is who I want to race. If not, then I'll just we'll just see what happens here. Um, it's all chill. This is the ascent. So uh, let's not get the ascent. <clears throat> I just unlocked her. I want to kind of keep it the way my walkthrough has been going. Is I, you know, I picked Kareem first, then I picked. Emily, then I picked Lucas. I kind of want to keep that going the way that I did it there. Um, also, just totally destroying this car right now, so that's been pretty funny. But yeah, so I hope that y'all enjoy these videos. I loved this game as a kid, and so I've been just playing through it a little bit because I really missed this game, and I was like, I really want to go back and play this game. And I didn't have a YouTube channel back in the day when I first played through this game, so I was like, because, I mean, this game came out before YouTube, so that's kind of a crazy thought. But, actually, I'm going to drive backwards real quick. Make sure this isn't Kareem so I don't waste my time. Gosh, she's, that person is driving away from me. I think, I don't know who this is. So let's just go and chase this person and see who it is real quick. My car is already very beat up because I am slamming into everything. Oh, this, this is Kareem. Okay. This car has a ton of acceleration. It's This car is fascinating to me. Its first gear absolutely sucks. It's very slow in the first gear. And then it just flies all the way through. It's pretty creative that they made it like this. So, chasing down Kareem. But yeah, anyway, what was I saying? I don't remember what I was talking about. I lost my train of thought because I wanted to make sure I was not just driving and wasting my time here. But, um... Yeah, the hardest part of this game is just chasing the people, because look at how fast he's going. He's freaking flying. I don't even know how he's going that fast, given that his car is, like, the same as this one. But then he makes that turn terribly and ran over a person, and then now we're here. So, another day, another chomp. Let's see if he can step up to the challenge. He knows who I am, so I don't think he's... I don't know why he acts like he doesn't know who I am. All right, so we are going to do a giant circle around all of London. This is a pretty simple yet pretty creative race here. Look at this. It is literally just a circle. And we start and end in the exact same spot. So this will be this will be interesting. Um, yeah, so it's going to be a good time. 
I hope this is a good race. It might be hard, but we'll see. I'll do this race. I'll probably stop talking somewhere in the few, next few minutes, and then we'll we'll do this thing. I'm gonna try to win this car race, and then call him on the phone, and then race him, and then beat him, and take his car. Because I think his second car is the best version of his car, personally. Because it actually is the one with Nos, and Nos is pretty crappy in this game, but it's better than not having Nos. <laughs> so I'm gonna just go this way for now, and we'll just kind of see what happens. Um, shouldn't be too hard because of the fact that this car is so freaking quick. But if I could, it's also very touchy, which is why I keep running into everything because this car is super touchy. Um, the Ascent has crappy handling. Eventually, what I'm gonna do is go through and do a review of all the cars in this in New York, like I did with, uh, or sorry, London, like I did with New York. I liked doing that, and those were fun for me. So I'm gonna do the same thing. Um, apparently, I did not know that I could take a better corner here because he took a shortcut and. I just, just eviscerated my car on that tree and lost that one, so I might start over. We'll see. If y'all like me talking in these videos too, by the way, let me know. I can do that more. What I usually do is just kind of stop talking so you can enjoy the video and enjoy the stuff because it always annoys me when people talk in videos, but I'm like, if y'all like that, then I'll do that more, which is why I'm experimenting it with it in this game. If y'all like how I talk and everything, you, I can do more things like this. Um, it makes it obviously harder to play the game because I'm recording this live because I don't like when people talk over like a pre-recorded thing. I do that sometimes with certain games, but depending on the game, I don't like doing that. But let me know. If y'all like that, I'll totally just talk more this way. Um, but yeah, we are going to keep going, chasing down Kareem here. He just destroyed himself on some car, but... I've done it like a thousand times already, so I'm not going to judge him for that. Uh, speaking of hit everything, I'm just going to get hit by Kareem there and hit that wall and hit everything and watch as the London police car completely disregards me and chases down Kareem, so that's pretty funny. Um, we're just going to keep on rolling here and run over everybody on the road and chase the police car who's chasing Kareem, and that police car did a crappy job trying to keep up with him. So. I don't think we're going to win this one because we're hitting everything ever, so I'm going to restart it. But I will stop here. Thank you all for watching. Let me know if you like me talking more. I'll do that more. Subscribe. Help me to uh, subscribe. Help me get to 1,000 of them. That'd be great. Y'all are great. Peace. Yeah.
Beat me in New York. Well, I like your style. You get me out the race, then you turn up driving that. Look what the cat drug is. Style. You get me out the race, then you turn up driving that. Make you some kind of man, huh? Well, we'll see. You cannot have expected to stay ahead for long. 